Hi guys, welcome back at Template Redesign. And today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful landing page responsive for your mobile devices. So let's get started. First thing that you need to do is to open your main section over here, this container. Go to the Advanced tab, go to Responsive and make it only visible for your desktop and tablet. Now we are going to make a new container that will only be visible for your mobile devices. So drag in a new container, make it full width, width 100%, the direction vertical and the view height 100. Go to the advanced tab, go to responsive and make this only visible for your mobile devices. Now we're going to change the responsive of Elementor, go to mobile. This is what we are going to edit. Make sure that the layout in the advanced tab, the link margins are set off and link padding and also make sure the element gap is on zero. Now you can drag in a new container. This container will be your heating. Make it full width, width 100%, the minimum view height of 10, item direction horizontal, justify content space between, align items center and the element gap on zero pixels. Then go to the advanced tab, set the link values for the margin and padding off and this is how you make the first container. For the logo, we drag in our image, set the image to the thumbnail and pick your logo. Then go to the style tab, make the width 25%, go back to your content and set the alignment to the left. Now go to the advanced tab, set the link values off and give it a 10% margin on the left side. This is the logo. Now we are going to add in the hamburger menu. I used the animated hamburger icon, you can also use a regular icon. Then go to your style tab, set the color to the brown background color that we already used, so you can copy it from your main section. I see my animated hamburger icon is, was not aligned right, now it is, it's underneath the image. Make the active color the same brown color and go to your background color and make it transparent. Now you can see the animation. This is how you make the animated hamburger icon. Before we go to the next container and going to the main section, we will add a background color. Go to your main section of your mobile. Go to style, background, set it to gradient. The first color is the brown color. The second color will be the orange color from the main section, of course. Go back to your background, set it to the orange color. The location can be stay on 100, type linear, angle 90. This is what we want. Now we are going to add in our second container. So I'll add a new container over here, set it to full width, 100%, minimum height will be 90 because the first container was already 10. Then the direction will be vertical, justify content center, the align item also at center and the gaps between elements set on 5 pixels. Now go to the advanced tab and set off the link values. The first thing that we're going to drag in our main container will be a spacer. Drag in your spacer and set the view height on 5. Then we are going to drag in a heating. When I'm editing, when I'm editing this heating, I will go to my main section. I will find that heating over there. I will copy this heating and I will paste it over here. I can delete this first heating and now we are going to change this heating. And we are going to change the typography. The size will be set to 3 em. The weight will stay on 900 and you can let everything the same. As you can see, this is not how we want it. We want we buy next to each other. So go to the advanced tab, set the width to full width. And now it's much better. I don't like this gap between those two words. So go back to your styling, typography, and the word spacing can set on zero. Also the letter spacing. This is better. Now we can copy the second heading of our first main section and you can paste it underneath. Go back to your style tab. Make the size EM 1.5 and the letter spacing and the word spacing can be on zero. Now go back to the advanced tab and set the width to full width. This is much better. The divider that's underneath the, those two, the divider that's underneath those two headings can also be copied from our main section that you probably have made from my first video. So copy that zigzag over here. Go to the advanced tab and unlink the link values. Now we're going to set new link values for the mobile device. At the top, minus 0.4. At the right, we want 5%. And 
and at the left we want also 5%. And this is how you make the divider. The next step is to make the button. We can also copy this button from our main section over here. Copy that from here, go back to your divider and paste it underneath. Now we have our button, but it's not quite how we want it. The first step is to remove one space between those words. So not two, but one is fine. In the main section I have two. Then we're going to delete the icon. The icon gap can be on zero. Then we open the button typography and we're going to change that as well. The size can be stay on one. The weight can be changed to 500. And then the word spacing and the letter spacing can set on zero. Maybe I want a little word spacing like this, 0 0.3. And this is how you make the button. It's not done yet, but we want to edit the image as well. The image we can also copy from our main section. This image over here, we will copy it and paste it underneath. Then set the image alignment at center. Go to your style tab and set the width to 80%. Now it's a little bit bigger. Then if we go to the advanced tab, the link values can be set off and I have a custom width of 90%. That's what I wanted. Now it's center, perfect. You can also you can also change the width a little bit lower if you want. So add in the floating icon buttons. I set the position on fixed. Snap vertical button. The vertical distance set on 10. The snap horizontal on the right. Then I go to general. The menu direction can down to up. Show labels can be no. Then I go to the channels. The first one, the phone, I go open the style tab and I'm going to change the colors to custom colors. The background color will be the brown color. The icon color will be this orange color. So I have to change this to the brown color. I can find the brown color in my main section over here. Copy this brown color. Go back to the floating chat buttons. Go to back to channels. Open the phone. Open the style tab and change the icon background color to the brown. When I want to hover over it, I don't want to have a purple, I want to stay it brown as well. And now it's always brown, but when I hover over it, the foam will be turned white. I'm also going to do that with the mail and with the WhatsApp function. And now when I'm opening the floating chat buttons, you can see they are all styled the same, except for the main button over here. We need to start that as well. So go to your start tab, go to triggers, set the background color to the brown color, the icon color to the orange one. The background has to be the brown. So I'm going to pick that for my phone design over here. Go back to your triggers, make it brown like this. And when I hover over it, it should also be brown and the icon I want to be white. Now it's all the same. And when I press off, they disappear. That's how you make those floating chat buttons. So it's really easy to contact your business. And if you want to add in the phone number, of course, you go to content, channels, you press on the phone and you can pick here your number. You can change here your email and you can change here your WhatsApp number. So they can easily contact you. It's really good to have high engagement with your customers. And this is the end result, guys. It has a hamburger animation. You can add in a pop-up over here as well. So you can make a full web menu. That is really nice for mobile devices. We have our, we have our logo over here. We have the text, the beautiful button, the image, and of course the floating chat buttons. So it's really easy to contact your business from your phone and ask questions or talk to your customers. I hope you like this design. And if so, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. My plan for the next video is, is to make a complete website from the beginning to the end that everything is working. And I'm thinking of making a website for a fitness club or something like that. If you like to see that as well, a bigger tutorial with multiple episodes, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.